Joe Turner from Leapfrog Fight TV and I'm here at Raw Fighting Championship at Harrow Ledge Centre with Tom DiGiulio. Hello, mate. My friend, spectacular performance, coming away with a TKO victory, three eight counts, you would get, yeah. gave your opponent, I believe round three. Round three. Round three, yeah. yeah. Just spectacular. Round one, like you're saying, it, it took you a little bit to get going, but just yeah, round two, round, round two, you seem like a man that just come yeah. out on a mission. Well, usually it takes me two rounds to get into it, that's why... I Title fights. I didn't. I didn't know a pro semi semi southern area title fights for three rounds. But so I thought, oh, for five rounds. But I guess it the extra minute gave me that extra bit of time. So I managed to come out right in the second round. My co my corner gave me a bit of a kick up the arse after the first round. I said you got to fucking stop doing what we spoke about before. And I, lucky I done it. But credit to my opponent Ryan, fucking tough guy. And he pushed me even from the last fight. I knew I had a tough opponent to go against. So first round. He was keeping me away of his teeth, he was pulling me in near me. He made it really fucking hard for me. And I'd, I'd be lying if I said I'd come out of that fresh, because I had to work, I had to dig in deep for that win. And it just feels so good that I got it, because it's been a tough fight camp. I've really worked hard this fight camp. I've been seeing the sports therapists getting massages, getting knocks out of me, just help loads. And obviously just working on the side, training, running, hate running, can't stand it. So to see it all come out and give me a win when I've lost the past two fights, it means a lot to you first. So I guess I can't wait to get back out there again. Let's talk about the history between you two, right? You're both lovely blokes, right? I could sit there and talk to you all day in the changing rooms before fighting and stuff like that. You two have fought before. Unfortunately, the first time you come in off short, but yeah. that fight was razor close. Yeah. A lot of people were saying it was very controversial or yes. could have gone the other way, which is great, and that's exactly what you want in a fight when it's that close and it's good that match, good. Mate, it, it was great to watch. Yeah. This time coming off with a win, how hard was camp training for this fight, knowing that the most recent one with Ryan, unfortunately, you lost. Well, I knew that I was going to have to, I was going to have to do my absolute best not to leave up to the judges because mm -hmm. the way I fight, I'm different. I'm, I don't necessarily try and score points. I just try and throw intention to hurt. And uh, this fight camp, my coach and people around me in the gym have been telling me, score points, score points. But I shouldn't rely on scoring points. I should be mate, giving the win by giving a mate count for finishing the fight. So lucky I've done it this time. I don't know. I don't know, I haven't seen the fight back, so I don't know if I, um, if it went to the judges, I would have got a win still, but end of the day, win's a win, isn't it, Joe? Mate, win's a win, exactly, and it does feel good. Your belts are um, unfortunately not here with us, but you are you are now <laughs> the, raw, the raw champion, right? Yeah. You've got a lot of good momentum to start going forward now. Yeah. What's next? So, I believe I'm matched for the next one, Hitman Fight League VCFS. I'm going back down to semi-pro because... I'm not a pro fighter. I, I'm not, I, if I get the opportunity to fight pro here and now, I'll take it. But I work on the side. I can't. I can't make the sacrifice to fight pro. There's not enough money in it for me. So going back down to semi pro then. After hoping to get a show in June, mid mid June. But after that, our gym we like to take the summer off. We like to do a bit of raving, have our parties, and then I'll be back again in September. So that's what's next for me, Joe. Let's talk about outside life. Yeah. You kind of just excited me by the fact that you said you like to set the summer off go and enjoy yourself what do you like enjoying other than fighting you're very good at fighting you. but you're more than just a fighter you're yeah. a person what do you enjoy mate i enjoy raving i like a holiday like we all do we all have a holiday but yeah just go out, like going and rave spending time with mates having them around mine go around there having a couple beers you know seeing family doing stuff that's not going from work train even just having a lie in having a lie on a saturday or sunday makes a difference playing football as well big up niche fc but yeah a bit of football, five side, living aside, I do everything, Joe. I think it's very important to highlight the fact that we are people, yeah. and on the side of what you've just done there, which is spectacular, and a professional would perform like that on his own. Do you think? Yeah, of course, mate. Yeah. Of course, but that is professional level kickboxing there. But you're a person with stuff to do during the week. Yeah. You're a person that has a day job. You're a person that plays football. You like yeah. going to raves. And I think that's very important that we highlight that. I'll tell you a funny story. I get injured more times playing football than I do training, fighting. I don't play football. When I used to play five side of Wednesday, I don't play football during camp now. Well, last month. I'll go, I'll go to train. I was playing football. H, here you go. What have you done now? But yeah, when I train, I tend to be right playing football. Always get an injury. So what I can say to kids at home is don't play football. Don't play football, no. <laughs> Kick each other instead. <laughs> Violence over football. Exactly. Before I leave you, all right, you've got a lot of people here in support for you tonight. Yeah. Who would you like to thank? Well, obviously my team that's been through me the whole fight camp. Then my mum, my dad, my sister who deal with me at home when I'm not really about. Um, 
big shout out to my auntie Pino who passed away during this fight camp, my cousin Rocco, my uncle Frindon, Uncle Sisto, Uncle Vinny, and my cousins today and Taylor Rocco. So a shout out to them and obviously shout out to everyone that's around my mates that come and support me, my mate Luke, and my sports therapist who gets all the knocks out of me, Abby, shout out to you. Who else? Wills, shout out to you for putting up for me at work when I'm cutting weight. And um, I probably missed a lot of people, but there's a lot of people to thank there, isn't there? There's a lot of people to thank. Mate, congratulations. Let's enjoy the event. Get a beer down, ya. Yeah, I'm good. Congratulations, mate. Thank you, Joe. Give me a hug. Big up Leapfrog Fight TV. There we go.